The minority communities in Afghanistan are dwindling. They've been gutted by deadly violence. But India has now offered them an emergency exit. Today, New Delhi opened its doors to 11 Afghan Sikhs who were kin of the victims of the Kabul terror attack. And while the Khalistani secessionists continue with their agenda, they have failed to look at the plight of hundreds, perhaps thousands of Sikhs persecuted and harassed in the neighboring Indian countries. The numbers are shrinking and the threat of persecution of Sikh and Hindu minority is growing in both the neighboring countries of Pakistan and Afghanistan. Nidan Singh, the Sikh leader who was abducted in Afghanistan, has finally been brought to India. The Sikh population in Afghanistan has declined rapidly from over 100,000 three decades ago to now only between 3,000 and 8,000. The Afghan Sikhs are persecuted, they are harassed and intimidated. Minorities in Afghanistan are vanishing. On the other hand, you have the Khalistanis who advocate to be the righteous runners of justice for Sikhs, but do not seem to care any less for the minorities who are being persecuted in Afghanistan and Pakistan. And who came to their rescue eventually? It was India. New Delhi not only provided shelter to the Afghan Sikhs who were kin of those killed in the Kabul terror attack, but it will also provide refuge to nearly 700 Afghan Sikhs and Hindus who have faced a host of terror attacks. The status of Afghan religious minorities is more uncertain than ever. The United States of America has withdrawn troops after more than 18 years of war and the Taliban is preparing for talks with the government over power sharing. The battlefield has grown more chaotic. It has been joined by more extreme groups such as a branch of the Islamic State which specifically targets vulnerable minorities. But for the Khalistanis, the current state of the minorities is insignificant. It's been 36 years since the birth of the Khalistan movement. Operation Blue Star was a nightmare. It was the event that rewrote history. The Khalistani extremism has now endangered Canada and for the first time, India and Canada are cooperating on the issue of Khalistani secessionists. Canada has rejected the Khalistani referendum 2020. The Trudeau administration has said that it will back India's sovereignty and territorial integrity. 